So I just thought I was bringing this up, and um, I'm, this is probably be mentioned a few times, but um, you want to make sure you try to get your before and your after photos in the same spot. So that's one of the reasons why I'm asking that you submit more than one photo, because you never know when you might be able to get this photo again, and you don't really know exactly where your after photo is going to um, uh, take place at. So I would suggest trying to get this, the photo in the same spot. So here you have a before and after, and it's beautiful. You can really see the transformation that's taking place, but the thing is, it's facing in two different directions, so you really don't get the magnitude of how uh, powerful this transformation really was on this particular block. Can I get someone to yep. buy the And this one is a much better example of what a before and after photo would look like. It's taken almost exactly in the same space. Of course, it's a different time of the year, but you can really see what has taken place on this on this particular lot. And it just really helps with our photos when we highlight this work on the web that we have photos that look this. Um, to me, this is a dynamic illustration of what's taking place on the on the lot. So I also thought I would go with just a little bit of depth with their, with their budgets because the way it's set up on submittable, you have an option to either submit um, three different documents for the budget or you can do one. But what I really need to know is there's a space on what is your total project cost. So you'll put that here, um, and we, you'll put that number, um, or this number in, on that field. But then you also have different sections that we need to see. We need to know how much you're anticipating your installation to cost. That would also include any site prep. So I want that type of information to go here. And these are just vendors and stuff that I kind of made up to give you an example. And then we want to know your education and programming materials. So what are you thinking? Are you thinking I'm going to do some flyers and t-shirts and some log signs? Those type of things. We want to know um, what are you thinking? Things are going to change throughout the entire process. I saw a couple of uh, past grantees or applicants in here, so they know things change. And we know it's going to change, but we want to at least see what you're thinking and how you're really seeing this project. Um, to potentially take place and, and, and also cost. And then what are your current plans for maintenance? And a really great question came up recently around uh, would a water catchment system really be considered maintenance or is it installation? I honestly, it is in your best interest to place water catchment systems in maintenance section because you're going to find, even if your initial budget doesn't show it, that lot installation is expensive. You have site prep, you have installation equipment, you may have volunteers that are going to that are going to help out. You want to give them stipends, things like that. It starts to add up. So maintenance costs and honestly, water catchment system is a maintenance item anyway. It's going to help you be able to keep uh, keep your your garden uh, healthy and alive. So um, keeper on Detroit is our other technical assistance provider. And Ashley Atkinson, who could not be here today, she is going to be providing technical assistance to the community track grantees. She's a wonderful resource if you don't know her. Um, and I just wanted to take a moment to not only mention that she'll be a part of this project, but also just talk about some of the resources that Keep Learning Detroit offers. So Keep Learning Detroit has a wonderful garden resource program. Um, I'm not sure how many of you are already members, but I highly recommend that you reach out to Keep Learning Detroit and find out how you can potentially become a member of their Garden Resource Program. Being a part of their Garden Resource Program has many perks. There are discounts on things that you may need for your, um, for your project. There are opportunities to connect to free seeds or plants um, or other free resources. Um, soil testing is also a perk of being a part of a uh, resource program. And I also just wanted to lift up the importance of it. So we're asking everyone to provide us with a soil sample. This is something we've never done before, but we recognize just how important it is to make sure that before anyone puts anything in the ground, they know what's going on in that soil. So um, they are very a very good resource for that. Um, they also have um, resource centers throughout the entire city. And through these resource centers, you may have you may be able to attend various workshops and learn different things about gardening or cooking and things like that. But they also have tool sheds and other resources that may be helpful for you. If you are installing one of our stormwater superstars, your installation is probably let's just say you look you're thinking it may be a little more than five thousand dollars to install. Maybe I don't have a few extra dollars for the shovels and gloves. Potentially the garden resource program could be a resource. Um, and then you can always access their information at DetroitAgriculture.net. 
So to submit your application, we're highly re recommending um, that it is filled out in turn in on submittable. It is easier for us to read and be able to uh, review your applications when they are not handwritten. However, I do recognize that not everyone has access to a computer and a printer and, and not even being um, necessarily internet savvy. So if that is the case, I will accept applications that are handwritten or even typed out if it works better for you. Um, but they have to be turned in. Uh, if you're bringing it in, it has to be turned in before closing business on December 4th. Otherwise, you have until 11.59 on Monday, December 4th to get your application in via submittable. 